Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Stefania. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. Just waiting for the class to begin. <laughs> Good. Let's just wait for a little bit. What page we're we gonna work today on? Where, well, the lesson plan states uh, page 19, which we have already written. Yep. Conversation, but still we're gonna work on, continue working on e-shopping. So what do you have, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Not much. Not much, not much. Hey, what are you drinking, Erwin? Coffee, teacher, coffee. That's coffee? Oh, my God. Coffee with Coca-Cola. Oh, my God. Yes, it's so cool, yeah? <laughs> with ice. You really want to wake up or what? <laughs> yes, teacher, yes. It's too late, it's too late. Doesn't it affect your sleeping? No, teacher, no, no. I, I remember uh, when I was a study, when, when I study at the college, I drank so coffee at night. Mm, me too, it doesn't affect me to fall yes, asleep. Yes, yes. In my, in my office, I, I drink, I think that five or four cups. For coffee cups? Oh my God, during the whole day? Yes, I like it. Okay. Try to try to drink uh, a lot of water too. That's important. Yes, yes, me too. Yes, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we have eleven so far. Hmm. You know, I was thinking there are some questions that at this point you're supposed to be able to answer. Common questions that for an intermediate five student this this um, program, um, you should be able to do them, you know, to answer them very easily. Like, um, what do you do? You know, a general question, what do you do for a living? Like talking about your routine, right? That simple present. What did you do in the past? What will you do? What will you do in the future? And so on, simple questions that you should be able to answer. It. And some of you may not be able to do it at this point. So uh, while we wait for the others, I wanted to recommend you to try it, you know, try to answer simple questions in a daily basis. Just repeat, 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 because if you're not using something, you know, you get rusty if you don't practice. That even happens to me, you know, if I'm not practicing right right now, I'm not taking calls on the call center. So I'm just uh, checking documentation, verifying cases. And, and it's weird because I don't know, I, I miss speaking in English. <laughs> what do you think? So does anybody, can anybody answer the first question? What do you do for a living? Uh huh. Try it. What do you do for a living? <laughs> Your microphone, dear. Okay. Okay. 
Thelma wanted to answer, but her microphone is not on. Excuse me. Good, good evening, teacher. Hey. I have some problem with my dogs. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. You have dogs? How many listen, do you have? Listen. Yeah, I heard. How yeah. many? How many do you have? I have two dogs. What kind of dogs? What brand? Uh, no heaven. <laughs> no, they haven't. <laughs> What's their uh, brand? <laughs> brand? <laughs> brand? Uh, no. <laughs> the race. Um, is it's like callejero <laughs> with okay. agua, agua terrier. Agua terrier. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. But they they are. <laughs> They're your with babies. my family now. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, because I live alone. I know, I know. Yeah. Okay, okay. Excuse me. For it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> we're, we're having a conversation. That's, that's what I needed. Okay, it's 20 already, so let's do this. It's 8.06. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Wait, everybody, please turn on your camera. It's time for your class. Okay, Glenda, Sandra, Jocelyn, Yuri. Thank you. Okay. okay, let's start. Let's start. So, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto, <clears throat> Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Where's Erika? Not here today. That's weird. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Armando Villacorta Chávez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Ladies, we're staying 10 minutes after the class, okay? Okay, Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Thank you. Seguimos Alfredo Garcia Granadino. Present. Here, okay. Present. Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Present, teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Jocelyn Imelda. Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Irene, 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 not here yet. Okay. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Elma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. And Erika just joined. Let me take her attendance. Edwin, not here yet. Okay, good. So what's in it for you today? So I was telling to the first um, students in the in the class today. Oh, Amos, Amos is here too. I didn't hear him. Um, I was telling you guys that it's very important for you to practice what you go studying, you know, in every, in every um, module at this point. I mean, you've been through let me think, six plus five, that's 11 modules already. You're only missing seven and you, you're done. So at this point, can you maintain a conversation in any basic grammar tense, like simple present, simple past, future, okay? Not to tell about present perfect, past perfect. 
using models, okay? So I have a tool that I, I loved using this tool and who the guys have, that have been with me before know the tool is a question generator. Don't share it. We're gonna practice just for a few minutes, okay? On 20 minutes is what we have left. Always the first 30 minutes of the class are to recall information, to practice. And today is our 10th class. This is our 10th class. So usually it's like, our, it's like our Friday, okay? Today is our Friday. So every Friday we have to review uh, grammar, you know, what we have been saying on the, on the, on the class. But at this point, I, I would like you to practice any grammar, any grammar tense. So in groups, you can open that. Don't share it. Just one of you or all of you just open it. It will generate questions. Uh, if you have been with me before, you know this tool. It's just an uh, icebreaker. It's an icebreaker. That's what it is. It's questions that you can do randomly, you know, in a, in a regular conversation. So let's practice in groups. Don't be shy. Select a question. Throw the question. Make sure somebody answers. You're going to be in small groups. And I'll be there with you, making sure you speak and evaluating. I'll bring you back and evaluate three of you, okay, randomly. Does that sound like a plan? Yes. Did, did, yes, you, did, you, get, did you get the, the instructions? Anybody? No questions? No? Okay, let's practice. Okay, I think we have to answer the questions, the random questions, right? Okay. Yes. You can yeah, click yes. you can click the bottom and change question. If you don't like that question, you can click on generate another random topic. Okay. Yeah, if you don't like it. Although, what's in your fridge is a very simple question, but... <laughs> okay, the first one I, I have is, do you like to dance or sing? In my case, I prefer sing. Singing. I love sing. I love singing, yes. Singing, singing, dancing. Okay. Hey, who's, who's the... the who are you making the question to? Uh, to Sandra. Sandra, do you like to dance or sing? Uh, mm, I like sing. Uh, see, I like sing. Dance, no like. I don't <laughs> like. Me either. Okay, I now I know. And you? I love singing. Yes. I I I am free. The rest of the the afternoon. Don't share the screen. <laughs> Why? Copyright. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep it up, keep it up. Okay. And you, what is your favorite date of the week? For you guys. Yeah. Hello. Mm, I'm not sure. In my case, I every day is is different, but uh, 
I think Saturday weekends and Saturday because we start the week with the family. We can wake up late, <laughs> um, stay at home and watch TV. Sometimes uh, order um, food. We don't we don't cook. Um, I, I think that the, the Saturday is, is one of the my favorite days. Um, Sunday normally I, I go to the church with my family, and then in the afternoon we relax to recharge the battery for the next week. Yeah, teacher Jocelyn said that. If you can add her to the room four. Hi. Okay. My favorite days of the week is a Saturday because um, I like Saturday uh, because I I can sleep uh, I can sleep uh, my man is relaxed um, um, on the weeks I see uh, I see uh, my daughter um, only we. Uh, for uh, uh, for uh, three years ago is is uh, very very special for me uh, from for my daughter uh, for uh, I feel relaxed uh, and uh, I can sleep. Free, it works. It's, it's very special. And, and Sunday is very difficult. Uh, in my man, in the uh, beginning, uh, their stress for the Monday. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, the Saturday is my opinion for me, um, the best day of the week. There is another question. What is your favorite smell? What's the question? Sorry, smell. What what is your favorite smell? Smell. Ah, smell. Mm, mint. I love mint. Yeah. I hate mint. <laughs> no, I, I feel it's very refreshing and it's in the, the opposite. Raining, for example, or Natural sounds. On your phone yeah. or you turn on the TV and put the sounds in the TV or what, what do you do? No, no, on Spotify. Oh, on Spotify. Yeah. Mm. In, insomnia is, is the group or I don't understand. When I can't yeah. sleep. Ah. <laughs> ah. I, I, I think that this. Uh, uh, is a, a, a singer, I I think this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I, I there are a, a, a music group called uh, Insomnia too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't, insomnia. I don't know what, what group is. <laughs> what kind of music is Insomnia? Sorry. The teacher it's knows. Soul, soul rock. Uh, soul oh, rock okay. sound. Yeah. <laughs> we are so young. 
in some uh, sounds like a, a software program that I use in my work every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have that to, is the name. Insomnia. This insomnia. <laughs> oh, it's like to heavy metal, no? Uh, like uh, yeah. Scorpion or ah, uh, ACDC? Yes. Like uh, um, uh, I love well. like this yes. ACDC. Mm. So ah, okay. I I love the uh, group music music uh, group call it America group. Do you do you know America? No, no. <laughs> Uh, do you? They, li they do. Uh, they have heard it, but they have heard the, the songs, but then they, the don't, they don't know the the name of the songs, most likely. Uh, Sing for us. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember the horse with no name? It's it's like this. Tell us a, a, a song name. Yes, yes. <laughs> On the first part I... of the journey, I was looking for ah, Okay, okay, life. yes. Yeah, yes. do you remember? I yes. know this music, this song. This kind of music. Yeah, yeah, I love you. And so I love the music of uh, uh, Ides of March. Do you remember this group? Ides of March. Ides of March. Awesome. You got me Hello? lost. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's a uh, soul rock music for example the damn music then uh vehicle do you remember no it's a good song yeah like journey so <laughs> i was listening to ice ice house no wait yeah ice, ice house. house is another another crazy music. Type music, no. <laughs> you gotta be crazy, baby, to want to like a guy like me. You gotta Do be you... out of your mind, crazy. No. Teacher loves the the seventies oh. music. Yeah, seventies, uh, seventy and eighteen. <laughs> um, but. Prefer Francisco. Um, I prefer a little of the all kind of music. Mm, for example, I like the song. The, have you ever seen the? the... I have my dinner, then I, I I I can do it more relaxed. Can you repeat it's your sentence? I'm sorry. I prefer. Yes. Okay, the, the, it's, what is your favorite meal of the day? What's your favorite meal of the day, teacher? Honestly, none right now because I'm on a diet again. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no really it's like i don't know maybe maybe lunch although i don't like it because i always have lunch along you know it's like what yeah so i always try to cook for myself something delicious but it feels weird because i'm all alone and uh, i don't know mm. and i don't know what to watch i never find something to watch on tv you know so uh, I just have lunch and get ready to do something else. But teacher, uh, you can lunch. Uh, can you lunch in your house? Yeah, I have lunch in my house. I'm working. Oh, from okay, home. okay. But the culture has changed. But the cooker. The culture. The culture, the culture has culture. changed. The culture has changed. In what sense? Breakfast and lunch are usually eaten at work. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so different at that moment. Yeah. The general, the general, the, the mm, teacher. In general. The, the, in general, yes. Mm -hmm. The breakfast and lunch are usually eaten at work. Many years ago, um, we first eat breakfast and lunch at the home. At home. At home. Yeah. From two years ago, I ate my breakfast at home. Yes. But uh, the traffic is really difficult. It's for that reason that I I leave my home really early, and I ate and I eat my breakfast at in my at job in my job. Yes, in your work. Yeah. Yeah. It is normal in in in, in that days. Yeah. But. The thing changed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, other question, right? Recording is stuck. Come on, keep going. Yes. Okay, I will ask Judy. Judy, if you were stuck on a desert island, what would you want to have with you? Excuse me, can you repeat? Because I can listen. Yes, I, I listen to a, a baby asking for water. Okay. If you were stopped on a desert island, what would you want to have with you? I would like to just one. Just one. Yes, imagine if you were alone in a in a desert island. Mm. <laughs> what would you want to have with you? Water or cell phone, your computer, your car? A lot of food. Yes, oh. that yes. Oh, okay. Because if you don't you, you are in a island, the only thing that you need there is quite well. Yeah, you are right. You are going to die if you don't drink or you don't eat. <laughs> yes, you are right. Okay. Sulema. Hello. What is your favorite childhood memory? Um... Let me see. Maybe when I went to the Saborirao Park with my uh, friends of the of the school. Okay, perfect. Raindrops falling from my head. That doesn't mean my life will soon be turned around. That's song. It's not for me. Cause what? I heard that song in the Spider Man. <laughs> in the Spider Man? In, in the Spider Man. In Spider Man movie. In 
the Spider Man movie in Spider Man's movie. Things that were not practiced in apostrophe S, and that have I have noticed that we're about to um, hear that. So I'm going to choose Fernando for as a volunteer, you know, because he spoke first. So <laughs> good for. Okay, first question for Fernando. Fair. Tell me. What's in your fridge? Oh. Uh, ice? There are, there are ice, there are yogurts. Wait, there are ice? There, there are, are yogurts. Okay. Uh, mineral water. Meat. Uh, chicken. Uh, I have some fruit like guayaba and orange. And let me remember. Ah, I have cheese. The two two kind of cheese. Uh, I I don't know how do you say majado queso majado. <laughs> me neither. Okay. <laughs> Um, what, what else? Uh, how do you say tortillas? Tortillas. Tortillas. I have tor tortillas in my fridge. You don't have beans. Bean? You don't have beans in your fridge. Yes, yes, I have beans. <laughs> okay, great job, Fer. Hey, come on. Let's see. There are eyes. Somebody. There is eyes. There's there eyes. Is. There's eyes. Yeah, there's eyes in the fridge. Uh, there's yogurt, or there, there are, are yogurts. Yogurts, mm. because. Wait, wait. Ah. Josie, Josie? There are some yogurts. Yogurts there... is countable. Oh, um, right. so... about... What's the yogurt? <laughs> there are a bottle of yogurt. Ah, um... ah. There yeah. are some bottled yogurts. Some bottles, yes. There are some bottles of Sana, Opera. Yeah. Okay. Right. You can even mention the flavor. Yeah. There are some. What? Uh, how do you call this thing? There are some peach juggers. Yeah. Could be. If you're going to pluralize. Okay. Two kinds of cheese. <gasps> I have kinds two kinds of, of cheese. cheese. Kinds. Kinds. Okay. Two kinds of cheese. Okay. Good. Who's next for? William. Of course. William. Oh. Related to the topic. Where is your favorite place to shop? <laughs> shopping center why not <laughs> you know what they're very expensive nowadays i just went there on sun no on saturday with my kids he needed a he needed a um, some sort of pants for to do exercise at the school but the thing is that they're very expensive now it's it was like 12 dollars when i used to go when i was a Young, I, I used to go there and to the downtown, right, and pay like five dollars for something like that. That I don't know. You tell me, William, where is your favorite place to shop? I don't buy too much uh, here because uh, uh, some people uh, bring from the the USA. So I don't have a lot of things mm -hmm. in, in this country. You don't buy too many things in this country. Okay, in El Salvador. Okay, sounds weird if you say in this country, like if you were not from El Salvador, right? Yeah. <laughs> like what? Okay, some people bring from the USA. Some people bring me stuff from the USA. Brings, some people bring me. Yeah, bring me bring me stuff from the USA, you know, so I don't typically buy. Let's practice, let's practice. These are simple questions. Who's next? 
Blanca Stephanie. Blanca Stephanie, easy, easy. Wait, I lost it. What is your favorite holiday? Oh, that's easy. It's Christmas time. I love to to share with my family. Uh, I love to put all the stuff, all the Christmas stuff. I don't know how to say it. Decorations. Yeah, decorations. I or love ornaments. To I love to do that, and I love to cook for Christmas. But you, only for Christmas because I hate is I hate cooking and cook. Uh, another time, I, I hate that. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's only happen in the Christmas. <laughs> in the Christmas? Mm. On Christmas. On Christmas, you got it. Very good. You know yeah. the answers. Who's next? Okay. Yeah. Jocelyn. Imelda. Jocelyn, okay. What is the best thing about living in your city? Well, the best thing uh, living in the city of my neighborhood, my neighborhood is the people because they are so, they're really, really friendly. We can help each other. Even we are not a family, but we share, uh, we share each other, we help us in things that we need. I can come with them. And when I was a, a teenager, because I used to live along with my brother, and I went to my neighbor's house, and I was there, like her daughter. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> good neighbors. Yes. Sounds really good. Yes. Yes, you, they are. Ha have you lived there for a long time? Uh, yes, since I was since I was seven years old. Since since, since I was since I since was, I was seven, seven years old. Years old. Yes. Since I was five, seven. Since I was seven. Yeah, perfect. Okay, um, is the people, and this is something that we're going to talk about right now. Thank you, thank you, Josie. Everybody, thank you for answering the questions. Let me just make this bigger so I can show it to you really quick. Apagalo. No, I'm not going to apagarlo. <laughs> I'm talking to my daughter. I know, I know. Don't worry. I'm sorry. Talk to her. Talk to her in English. Okay. Mm. Hey, guys, don't forget you can never have two verbs together. Oh, by the way, hold on. Uh, Jocelyn is the people. What I like about my neighborhood is the people we know. No. You know, it's the like people. The, just the people. Uh -huh, just people. It's people. I mean, people here are very nice. They're very or the people that I know. Okay, be more more oh, specific. People. Or my neighbors. Uh huh. We help us. We help. We each help each other. We help each other. We help each other. Okay. So, I like sing. I love singing. I like I like singing is the most appropriate. Yeah, I like to sing. Remember, if you say I like to sing, it's just something that you like. If you let if you say I like singing, it is it's um how do you call it? It's a hobby. Okay. ING after the verb makes it a hobby. If you use like or love or want, no, like or love. I like singing, I like karaoke. Oh, exception. I No, it's not an exception because that karaoke is a noun. Okay, so I like karaoke. I like going karaoke. Okay, I like singing. Saturday, repeat Saturday. So your tongue goes to the back. You say Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Okay, stop saying Saturday, please. No more Saturday. 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 You perfect. Saturday. Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Say, say e, say e, Amos. Saturday. Sa Saturday. Better. Now, Saturday. now make it soft. Saturday. Hello. Hello, Juan Gabriel. Saturday. 
Got it? <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Make it a little bit, a little bit fresh. A Saturday, Saturday. Go start no. singing, querida. <laughs> Saturday. No, really, really, that, that works. That works perfect. Saturday, Saturday. Perfect. You got it. <laughs> Saturday. Okay. <laughs> only we. Only we. Ah, how do you say this in English, guys? Solo, somos, solo nosotros. Only we. Only us. Just us. Just? Just us. Just us. And this is another point. Try to use just instead of only. Most of the time. Don't just use only. Try to use just. And you say just. Don't say just. Okay? Just. Just us. Just. Listen. Just us. Just us. Just us. Um, just us. It's just us, you know, so. And if it is two people, and if it is just two people, just each other. What? What? Sing it. Sing it. I don't know that song. Come on. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. That's a nice song. Okay. In my opinion, the Saturday is the better day of the week. Need to eliminate that. Yeah, why? Why, Fritz? Oh, I just said it. I just said it. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, sorry, it's the best. It's the best day, the of, best the day of the week. If you use, yeah, is the best day of the week. How do you use better then? Oh, well, if you're talking about planning something you know what uh -huh. i think saturday is better saturday is better for me because i don't work on saturday what do you think oh i think um working on saturday is better than working on sunday for example it's better yeah. it's yes, it is. the best if you're making a imper i mean um superlative okay what is your favorite smell pronunciation favorite number one Favor, favor, favorite, 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 favorite. Don't say bo. Don't say bo. It's a v. So you say favorite, 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 favorite. favorite. There you go. Favorite. Mm -mm. Favorite. 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 Listen. Listen to this word. Favor. What's your favorite favor? Favorite. Favor. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Sounds weird. Favor, favorite, the same thing, favorite. Okay, now together, favorite smell, favorite smell, favorite smell, smell, smell. Favorite smell. There you go. Smell, smell, smell. ¿Cómo elimino esto súper rápido de mi pronunciación? Respiro hondo. Y empiezo a pronunciar palabras que empiezan con S porque en el español no hay palabras que empiezan con S. ¿so? Digo, student. Everybody. Nice music. Who's listening to music? Oh, really? Come on, guys. At least do it in English. Okay. What is your favorite smell? Student, stay, stop. St you got it? There's no S in English. Okay. Next. When I can't sleep, the same thing. When I can't sleep, I can sleep. I can sleep. Don't say I can't sleep. Sounds weird. Okay. Oh, there are a music group called Insomnia. There is. There is, there there is, is. a music group. <laughs> hey, pronunciation again. Listen, cold. Cold. Same pronunciation as cold. Okay, same. Cold. 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 Yeah. Cold. Se yeah. Cold. Se second rule cold. of ED endings. Oh. Second rule of Idian is there's a group. Listen, there's a group called Insomnia. Sounds better. Okay, just I have a band that I prefer. Can you fix this sentence? 
I just have a. Okay. I just have a band that I prefer. Mm, yeah. Mm. I just go to say I love you. Right? Remember that song whenever you, you want to use just, remember that song. Stevie Wonder, I just call. Okay, Let's say call. I love. I just call. So you don't make this mistake. Remember the song, I just call. Okay, I just have the, yes. my home. Okay, home is a proper noun. Don't use any article before home. You can say the house, my house. The same happens at my job. You can do my job, not my work. Oh, that's my work. Wait, are you a millionaire? You have a work, you have a work? Wow. Okay, my job. Yeah, my job. My job. That's your job. I always have lunch at work. I always have lunch at work. That's different, okay? Where are you? I'm in my job. I'm at work, okay? okay. My friends of the school. Hmm. Work is the place. Work is the place and job is the activity. Correct. And work is also a verb. It all depends on the context. Okay. I work for you. Friends from school. Yeah, from right off. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. My friends of school. Well, it all depends, right? The context. I was with my friends of school, you know, my friends of school. I'm not going to school anymore. I'm 40 years old. My friends of school. Okay. Um, my friends from sure school. Yep. Mm. Can I say my school's friend? My school friends. My school friends. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, dokie. Okay. Let's keep it up. Next. Okay, don't fall asleep, okay? We have been speaking about e commerce. What was the last topic? Exactly, placing orders online still, right? But then we also uh, talked about information questions using reported speech. Okay, we did some activities. Now, what have you infer? What have you infer out of all of these topics we have been talking about? What has ring? The bell in your head, you know, what's there, what has stood. Most important thing when you buy online, not to use your credit card, you know, information, try to be safe, have a padlock. Yeah, a padlock on the address bar, right? I didn't know that word. I would have said just a lock on your address bar. I know, I knew it in this module. Okay, I remember it. So, E-commerce business may employ some or all of the following. Online shopping websites for retail sales direct to consumers. We have seen the different types of e-commerce, you know, how they communicate between the retail store, the online store and consumers or all their online stores. They sell brands, so they serve all their companies they use people like you and me for their business as well, okay? It's very important. So all of this has to do with one thing. Um, and for all of this, you need a license, right? Do you think you need a license to operate online? What do you think? Yes. Why? Do you need uh, a domain? A domain. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. For your website? Just the domain? But I can create the domain on Daddy's. What's the, the name for Daddy? GoDaddy. Go GoDaddy. 
I can create a domain on godaddy.com and that's it. Hmm. Are there regulations in El Salvador to have an online store? Maybe how a direction from VPN? How do you say direction from VPN? A VPN address? No. Address, address. Well, address. well uh, the, you have to, if you want a domain, you have to register, to, to, to register that domain in the country. Oh, you uh, do? Yes, you have to do. Mm. So it has to be a dot sv website or what? Uh, the last time I had that was uh, three years ago, maybe. But you have to download a, a form. You have to to fill the form with your domain. You have to be sure that domain is not belong to. It's not taken. Belonging. It's not taken. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to, the, when you buy a domain, for example, or you are uh, uh, buying a hosting service, services, uh, they, they give you or the, the direct, the, the IP address, the DNS address, you have to fill that information in the form. And you have to pay in that time, in that time. In I, that moment? In that moment, I had to pay thirty dollars in in an account bank or thirty 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 thirty. Let's correct that, everybody. Thirty 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 dollars. Z e r i, señor. Vamos. Thirty 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 thirty. You have to do that because. I repeat. Come on, repeat. Say thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Close. Very good. Okay. Huh. Uh, and, and then, uh, the, when you when you do that, uh, your domain is registered in the country, History. and uh, and nobody can register the same name or your domain. That be, that is because it's it, it's important. It is important. So it's, it's the same thing we were talking about before with the CNR, right? Uh, the copyrights. Uh... Something like that. Hmm. Luis, what do you think? <laughs> not sure, teacher. You're not sure? Mm. No. Yes, see, when you are, for example, buying a hosting, that is important to, to buy a security certificate. Bye. The security mm. certificate Bye. is uh, when you are when you in in a website. When you, you go into a website, yes, you can see the the padlock. The padlock means you you are you have a security certificate in your website. Oh, very good. We're learning. Okay, so definitely you have to pay, and um, that's basically to operate in a country it's important okay yes, uh, maybe you can uh, uh, start a shopping online when you you are buying services like shopify you you can do your own shop online and maybe later you can register your domain and you are you can join it join uh, the two services then... hmm. So yeah, on-premise e-commerce software usually requires initial one-time purchase investment in terms of licensing fees. So you have to pay for it. Also, it implies extra costs related to hardware and installation services, as well as data migra migration and ongoing maintenance fees. So basically what Fer is saying, uh, well, we haven't considered this, but if you start an online business, you need a good computer. That's important. Uh, you need to have the necessary equipment if you're going to upload documents or videos to the website. And it will need maintenance, maintenance. By the way, you will need um, technical knowledge. You definitely need technical knowledge. Some websites require more investment than others, but nowadays um, everybody has an option for you online. You can buy a domain, very cheap, you know. You can go for the .net option, not just .com. 
and so on. Or just not creating a website, you know, you can just create a web page, like, I don't know, like Facebook, use Facebook for a, a page or Twitter. It's very famous nowadays and in our country. And that's the way many people, a lot of people is becoming entrepreneurs. Later on the book, we're going to talk about uh, influencers. And I have a funny topic on that one uh, because I, I saw some tweets today about people or, or actually TikToks, um, people becoming famous on TikTok, you know. There was this girl telling everybody, I'm going to be live tonight. And I don't know. And there were like three likes. And I was like, okay. And there's a lot of videos on her profile, you know, with one like. So I'm like, oh my God. That's, I don't know. I don't know. I, I Would you create a, a web? That, what do you call that? Hold on. Would you create a profile of that kind? for people to follow you? Would you like to do that? No? Under which circumstances would you do that? As a professional, I think we can we decide could. to make a profile, right? Yeah. Profile, yeah. 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 Actually, that's a trend. That is a trend right now in social media. There are lawyers talking about laws. Um, there's an old guy, I don't remember his name. He's always talking about laws, you know. The last video I saw on TikTok about from him was telling everybody, hey, if your woman, if your woman hits you, okay, go away. It doesn't matter if you're bleeding, just run away, step aside, and then call the police, okay? Don't defend yourself. And it's true. It is true. Because nowadays, laws are very fragile in terms of females versus males. You know, if you're hit by your woman, you cannot defend yourself. Discover your face, baby. That's it. Man, it's crazy. So that's a different topic. Moving back. Um, there are companies offering software, as we said. There's something else as well open source e-commerce. What do you think about open source e-commerce? It's very similar. What does it sound like, open source e-commerce? Frameworks that help you to develop a application with a, write a lot of, a lot of code, code. Codes? Codes? Just reuse a template that someone else developed. And they're free. And it's free too. But sometimes it's really complicated or try to change some programs like that. And then it's prefer I prefer to create from zero because you are going to have a lot of problems when you are going to change something that the programmer yeah, a programmer has, has a specific way to program and doesn't like to try to understand and change the code that someone else do. Excellent, excellent. Okay, totally agree with uh, Jury. I've, I've, have you seen these ads, these ads on social media that ask you to go to a website where you can set up your own website and there are already, uh, how do you say, plantillas in English? Play? Template. Templates. Template. Thank you. There are templates already for you to set up your own website. Actually, they're very popular and customizable. You know, you can do whatever you want nowadays on any website. It's, it's like having a PowerPoint already made for you. So you can understand me on the old language. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I recently learned last year, I took a course with, with what was it? OIT, Organización Internacional del Trabajo. And they, they trained me for, you know, to train teachers, which is what I used to do at, at this English Academy, the other one. The thing is that um, I, I learned about Genially. If you have never seen Genially, Check Genially. It's a great platform. I'm using it to develop my own course. 
it's going slow, but it's going. It's not easy. Uh, but the thing is that you can combine many things into one presentation where you can interact with the presentation is very good. So technology is moving. You have to move with technology, but still there are some things that you can apply even when you're setting up your own website or e-commerce business. Who remembers this from the previous modules? You remember the SWOT? The strong weeks? Yes. <laughs> one more, one more. Threats. 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 Good. Again, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. These things you can apply as what analysis when you're going to start a business online. Okay, Luis, you're nodding your head, so tell us. <laughs> what do you think? Analyze this question. Um, yes, I think it's one of the most important things you have to do before you launch in a, a whatever kind of business. Why? Uh, because you, you can identify um, your competitors if you, are, if you have a stronger competitors, if you have a, any opportunity to to compete to get in the uh -huh, to compete with your competitor by the way <laughs> um i don't know your strong things you can uh, make for uh, to to be on the market to maintain yourself on the market to right uh -huh. excellent excellent you remember the video we watched before guys he used to he said the first thing you have to do is get one client just one and then the others will come, you know, succeed, succeed with one customer. And then everybody else is gonna come little by little. Don't try to get a hundred customers on your first day online, you know, it's crazy. Um, you, but nowadays there are so many examples that you can find on the internet, you know, of e-commerce uh, websites and, and pages that have been very successful. And you can simply copy a model, okay? We have seen some in the class as well. Um, let's see. Um, there are other tools. Um, nowadays, we're talking about something else, which is the PEST, P-E-S-T, Political, Economic, Social, and Technological. Um, this is like terms that you can consider when starting up a business. Why do you think the political factor has to do with launching a new business, becoming an entrepreneur? I want you to think about that question. Why does the political factor has to do with launching a new e-commerce business, a new e-business? I'm going to do the attendance while you think about it. And I want to hear a straight answer from one of you. Just one. Give me just a minute. Where is the attendance? There it is. And again, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Hmm. Not present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Thank you. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Hey, good. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortez López. We're staying 10 minutes, okay? After the class. Freddy? Okay, teacher. Okay, good. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Present, teacher. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. 
Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Hey, good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Okay. So let me hear Glenda. I, don't, I haven't heard Glenda in a long time. Where is she? I, I heard her. Glenda, hello. No. Okay. Irene, why do you think political factor, a political factor is like, or politics, what does politics have to do with starting up a business online nowadays? Business online? Mm -hmm. um, why do you have to, to consider the political factor? Um, for example, ethic ethic in business mm -hmm. uh, because it's important uh, the companies ha has um, ethics uh, political ethics uh, to, to do business for clients because it's important for her for their reputation Okay, mm -hmm. we're getting there. What do you think, guys? Select someone else, are you? Oh. Luis, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to consider the regulation or laws that apply in your business area. Mm -hmm. Tax sex, for example, in another things, related to the I think laws and taxes is the most important for the government laws uh, laws are like laws. the most important thing to consider based on the government hmm. but law aren't aren't listen aren't laws aside from the political thing you know okay <laughs> uh-huh well, if you don't want to say it, I'll say it if you don't want to say it. But nowadays, if you go on social media, what happens if you go on Twitter and you try to do marketing on Twitter? Let's say you're selling, what is the trend right now? Eggs and lactose products like cheese, cream, you know, all sorts of, all sorts of cheese. What happens if you want to go on Twitter? Who's gonna who's gonna be your niche of market? I mean, who are you going to aim the product in our country? Come on, guys. I'm even dressing the shirt and I didn't notice. Okay, but you got the point. If you are against the majority on the platform that you choose, and this is part of the feasibility study, you remember? Remember the feasibility study? You have to conduct the feasibility study and be aware of how that platform is composed. For example, Instagram. What's the, the bigger population of Instagram? Is it old people? Younger people. Younger people. Young people. Young people, right? Okay. What about Facebook? <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> say, I use Facebook. <laughs> old no, people. No, no. Yeah, nowadays, old people is, is using Facebook. Okay. Now, Twitter. What's going on with Twitter? Who uses Twitter? Professional person. Sometimes. Professional people? Mm. Yes, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. That There you have a, a very extensive market. Everybody's using Twitter, except teenagers except kids 
they don't use Twitter. Why? Because it's about reading, right? You know, we don't like reading. Famous, right? Famous person. Famous people. People. And you know what? Something, something very interesting about Twitter is that if there's a lady, let's say, with nice body or nice face, and she is she's young and she posts, I don't know, never trust nobody or don't trust men, whatever she texts, men, sometimes they get 14,000, 15,000 likes. You come like, she just wrote a line and you come and you write a big excerpt about life, right? And the meaning of life and one, two likes. I'm like, what? So it all depends on who follows you, right? And who you follow, what's very important. It's a whole different society. So what would be a good strategy talking about marketing? What would be your strategy? If you wanted to go on Twitter, how would you do it? To do some marketing before launching your product, before launching your product, what, did, what would be essential to do if you want to go on Twitter? Famous people on social media. How come? Person, person who has a lot of followers in this platform. Mm. You mean that you should follow famous people and if possible, have famous people following you back? Yes. What happens when our president follows someone? <gasps> right? <laughs> That's that person becomes popular like that. True. Okay. That happened to me. I was on the conference of Bitcoin. It wasn't a conference. It was a, how do you call a broadcast? It was a broadcast, live broadcast. We were like 500. And when Naive came to the chat, to the, to the broadcasting group, everybody started, and it was in English. Everybody started talking, hey, the president is here. The president is here. Man, it, it went from like 500, 900. It went to 10,000 people. Boom. We were like, oh, my God. And I was next to him on the chat, right, on the icon. I didn't have my picture there like that. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God, I'm next to him. <laughs> but that's the way social media is now. And it's a feeling. So think about it. You have to play with the feelings. That's the first goal, have followers, become a follower of people that will impact your product will impact too. So it's difficult depending on the product that you're going to sell or the service, right? And in that term, I will say a service is easier to be sold than a product, okay? If you're selling, for example, migration advice, uh, advisory, counseling, Counseling, migration counseling is very popular now in our country, especially. Everybody wants to travel, right? Teenagers want to travel. So that's easy. Hmm. What about selling renting car services, you know, rent a car services? What do you think? Give me another example. Come on. Successful businesses. Come on. Rental show. Rental. Cars. Rental show cars. Oh, importing cars. Rental show cars. Okay. Yeah. What about law services? Law services like divorcing services, you know, divorce and advisory. Yeah. <laughs> During the pandemic, if you were if you were if you were a lawyer after the quarantine, lawyers made a lot of money. A lot of couples broke up, you know, there were a lot of divorces during, yeah, after quarantine, because we, we hit reality, right? After three months together, every day, 24 hours, you know what? Mm -mm. <laughs> or the opposite, or the opposite, right? Uh, yeah, hopefully it was the opposite. For me, for me experience. <laughs> <laughs> Not my experience. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, you're walking on thing. Ice. 
teacher, you're walking on thin ice. You know what it means? Be careful, you're walking on thin ice. It's an idiom meaning that you have to be careful. Okay, okay, let's move on. So we did this before we talked about um, how dangerous can it be uh, placing orders online? This is on your page 19. And how often you purchase products online? How expensive are shipping costs in your country? I don't know. We, we didn't have an idea, right? Because we couldn't uh, figure out, like do a comparison between El Salvador and other countries, but it makes sense, right? It all depends on the, we said, Exactly, the distance between countries will determine the cost of shipping. But we also talked about hidden charges. When you buy an airline ticket, what could be a hidden charge? Exactly, fuel, oh my God, guys, wake up. Fuel charges, airlines charge fuel charges and luggage, luggage charges as well. Okay. Let me come up with the next topic. There's a little excerpt that you need to read. It's about uh, five pitfalls of online shopping. There's some vocabulary on this excerpt. It's very short, but you need to talk about it with your classmates. Um, there are some good topics like shipping fees, inaccurate sizing, misleading product descriptions, payment issues, poor packaging, and there's a little resume at the end. So come up with your ideas to the class. Examples, I can give you an example of misleading information and that is prohibited by law, by the way. If you find out that, for example, I'm not going to say names, but a retail is selling cars online. A famous retail in El Salvador. I'm not going to say names. Ugh, this happened to me in real life. They were selling a 2014 Ford Focus, you know, and I bought it. And it was $7,200. $7, and they said it was good, you know, and everything. I didn't even see the car. I didn't went and I didn't go and check the car at all. And um, I just bought it, but one hour after testing the car, after driving the car, I noticed a noise, right? So I took, I took it back and they didn't say anything about it, you know? So it was misleading information. That kind of examples is the ones that I want to hear from you. That's what I want to hear. Just talk to your classmates, read the excerpt, take turns reading part by part and then come up with your conclusions, okay? Okay. Questions? No? Okay. It's Monday, I know, but come on, let's do it. Online. Take turns, let's read. Well, I want to start uh, reading. Mm -hmm. Read the, the, the link? Yeah, link in WhatsApp. Okay. okay. Yes. 
five feet falls on of online shopping. Yeah, it falls We have five topics. If you want, you can read the first one, Elmos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, I want to read about the first topic. Online shopping? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's convenient, quick, and embraced by most every kind of connected consumer. While it is well known for the benefits. Few are aware of the dark, darker side of purchasing from a virtual store. Get the facts behind shopping with a click of a mouse and use them to decide if your next purchase will be better made in person. Shopping from the comfort of your couch has major benefits and some unpleasant side effects. Check out shopping online, convenience, bargains, and a few scams. Okay. He talk about the benefit about by even worse many retailers punish their most loyal shoppers by charging more for every dollar spent making that expensive but dainty gift pricier than necessary okay uh, i will i will read the inequality side Tyson. Hey. Uh, most women know their dress side, but are also aware that variations can occur with the thickly natural of US catalog of size. One brand, one brand may fit true to the side, while others can run a small fur fast. The best way to assure Assure that your online purchase will be a perfect fit is to research the return policies to see if returns are free or can be done via your clauses. Break and mortar location. If not, it may be wise to see about trying items on before you buy. If you must be a virtual shopper, check my any comments or feedback left by others who have purchased similar items. They often share information about what weather and brown runs through, through to the side. We on 10 ways to bondage when you're broke. Okay. <clears throat> Misleading product descriptions. One of the benefits of shopping online is that it's, it is a truly visual experience. If a product looks appealing on your computer screen, it may be very well look super in real life. Unfortunately, the pictures and descriptions that accompany a product page can be confusing or even completely fraudulent. The more trusted the shopping site, the less risk you'll have of ordering based on an ambiguous photo or, or its depiction. I stick to the sites to know and if the image and narrative don't, don't jive, don't buy. For many online banking has become a day-to-day -day routine. As still, there are some holdouts who refuse to accept that method.
Okay, I will read payment issues. Having an adequate credit line may seem like all the discerning shopper needs to finalize in an online purchase. Did you finish to read? Did you finish? Reading. Not yet. Did you finish reading? Not yet. <laughs> Don't forget one verb follows a gerund. Gerund follows a verb or two.
You should have taken turns reading one part each. Just in time. Okay, remember it's not just reading, right? You have to put in common your ideas. teacher we are talking about experience that we have on the online shoppings that we made okay what did you say <laughs> that the shipping costs it's too are too high shipping costs are too high if you're importing, right? But sometimes in technology is better import it. It's better to? It's better to import it. Yeah. Yeah, incredibly some things are cheaper when you import them or for or of better quality actually as well. Yes, is because in El Salvador you are going to find second quality or so second third, uh, second or um, less quality. Yeah, second hand quality. Because even though the the same brand and the same product is different over here. Mm -hmm. Or most likely you will get a limitation, you know, a fake copy, a copy of the product. Oh. Uh. 
Não. Teacher, we have to read the conversation. Read the excerpt that I send you on WhatsApp. Okay, okay. And give your ideas. So you did it already? Yes. Okay. Good. Let's go back then. Hello, teacher. Hey. I have some problem with the link that you sent send us because suddenly closed, it's closed. It gets closed yeah. out of the sudden? Yes. Mm, yes, and I can't read it. You couldn't read it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, guys, new words. What is pitfall? What is a pitfall? Trump, trampa, encontré. Trampa, me Sorry, Thelma. Okay, yeah. In yeah. English, <laughs> Sangre Morena. <laughs> yeah, is there, is there a, a synonym for pitfall? Uh, why you... <laughs> I've been trying to think about a synonym for pitfall. Uh, like a trick or freaky? Trump? A trap? Yeah. Trap. Okay. Good. Yeah. That sounds like it. Any other? Embraced. I'm going to go giving you the vocabulary here. Uh huh. Embraced. Abrazado, encontré, pero no sé. Okay, now let's put it in context. Online shopping is convenient, quick, and embraced by most every kind of connected consumer. Can somebody give me the most appropriate translation of these phrases? Online shopping is convenient, quick and embraced by most every kind of connected consumer. Info is a, is a word in the phrase appropriate for the, the problems in, in the purchasing in, in online. No, I didn't get your question, Amos. Again, again. The word painful is the appropriate word for for donation Pain, uh, painful painful yeah painful yeah you can do it in professional in the in a professional context as well only and on, only the, the purchase and online or the content uh we're talking about painful the word painful yeah no, you can use it in any context. In any context. Of, of course, the context will change the meaning. Okay. Uh, that was a painful shopping. If you say that was a painful shopping, it means that you went shopping with your wife and she bought over a thousand dollars and nothing was for you. So it was a painful okay. shopping. <laughs> I don't know what that's an example. A painful shopping. Uh huh. Okay. So, more words. Aware. Aware. Are you aware of the meaning of the word aware? Yes. 
be knowledgeable. Okay. Any other? By the way, the pronunciation of the word purchase. 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 Purchases. Purchase. Purchases. Okay. Unpleasant side effects. Words that we don't we don't use. We don't typically use. We don't often use. Unpleasant effects. Okay. So somebody can somebody give me the idea of what shipping fees? What did the excerpt say about shipping fees? Okay. What are shipping fees? It's just a delivery? Go ahead. Maybe when the... <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Maybe when the sellers... Um, I don't know. I'm not sure, but my opinion. Maybe when the seller put a little... Um, charges? Extra? Or extra charge for each product. Uh, say it, Frank. You can say it. Come on. Each <laughs> item. Each item. Um, <laughs> maybe, for example, today, I I know that the H, the HL, the HL, huh? The HL uh, put one dollar for each uh, item that you need to send for another country. To another country. Mm -hmm, to another country. I don't know. And you don't know why is that charged for, right? Mm -hmm. Just like. Yeah. Okay. They, so maybe they say that is for for the price of the of the gas. The gas price. And that's a oh, okay. That's a fuel charge. That's a fuel charge. And yes, you will see that. You will see that on some tickets. It says fuel charge. Fuel mm -hmm. charge. Okay. Okay. My opinion. And yeah, no, it's okay. It actually is true. Uh, let me explain you something. When, uh, well, if you think about it, if you're shipping something from China to El Salvador. Do you think it's going to come directly from China to El Salvador? Chances are? What? 40% maybe is going to go straight, straight, nonstop from China to El Salvador. 40, 30%. But most likely, it will make a stop if it is coming by air. Okay, It's an item that is coming by air. It will go from China to the United States. And inside the United States, do you remember the hub of Federal Express? Do you remember the hub video of Federal Express? How they have a hub in um, Washington, I think it was, or the duels, I can remember. The thing is that it will jump from the hub of Federal Express to another state. And from that state is gonna come to El Salvador. So your package may, might make three stops or four stops. And on each stop, there could be, there could be tolls, okay? Do you remember back in the days on the civil war in El Salvador, you had to stop to go to Santa Ana? There was a toll to go to Santa Ana. There was a toll to go to San Miguel. I mean, you couldn't go out without paying tolls, okay? What's wiggle? Oh, okay, you were that been oh that was me. How come? Wiggle. Why is what is wiggle? Wiggle, 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 wiggle it. <laughs> what is wiggle? A song. What? Andres? It's a song. Wiggle, wiggle. It's oh, a it's a song. Yeah. <laughs> 
Actually, yeah, you can wiggle your body. You can wheel a cable. Yeah. Wiggle it. You know, there's a falls on the cable. Okay, wiggle it. The connector has a falls. Okay. Wise. Wise. Erika is very wise. Irene is very wise. Stephanie as well. Okay. And so on. Luis knows a lot about many things as well. And so on. Wise people. Wise people. Intelligent, smart, knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable is a synonym for wise. Okay, let's keep it up. So shipping. Now with shipping, what else do you remember about the reading? Inaccurate sizing. Man, this is trouble. What could be a problem with inaccurate sizing? Usually when women uh, buy uh, clothes, dress uh, from China, the size is smaller. Hmm. Oh, you mean the wrong size is sent? Sure. Women, women, plural, woman, singular. Remember, women. Okay. Shoes, shirts. I mean, the product itself is the wrong size. I used to work for 1 800 flowers selling flowers online. And if you visit that website, it's 1 800 flowers.com. 1 800 flowers. Man, you will see amazing arrangements of flowers. I mean, as a man, you're going to go like, wow, that's beautiful. Expensive expensive too and they have small medium and large sizes for flower bases you know um or in the case of roses you can buy six roses a dozen or 24 and they will deliver them you can order here from el salvador you know in order to the states because a, a flower shop in the states is going to make the arrangement locally and deliver it makes sense right the problem is that some pictures are not you know in real life what they look like on the picture okay so the size sometimes is not accurate accurate you can use that word okay fickle what is fickle the fickle nature of u.s catalog sizes Fickle. By the way, you say nature, fickle. What is fickle? What tickle you say? Fickle. Like tickling people? No. no. Uh, fickle nature, it says, I'm on inaccurate sizing still. The second line says, with the fickle nature of US catalog sizes, one brand may feed through to size while others can run small. Perhaps the best way to assure that your online purchase will be the, a perfect fit is to research the return policy to see if returns are free or can be done via your closest brick and mortar location. <laughs> I don't like this word, brick sure, and mortar. Yeah. Uh huh. The variable, uh, the, num the variable number. A variable. The, yes. the variable number. Exactly. Uh, uh, difficult. Uh huh. Inconstant. Okay. Unsteady. No constant. No constant. Right. Inconstant. Inconstant. Unsteady. Erratic. Synonyms. Synonyms. Okay. And so on. Any other word that you may have found? You know what's budget, right? Budget. Easy. Okay, misleading product descriptions. Can somebody tell me a story? Have you experienced misleading information from any website? When my uncle sent 
choose <laughs> number uh, number n and, and to El Salvador. And the person, ¿cómo se dice? Se talla el zapato, se lo pone. Fits, fits the shoe. Mm -hmm. Fits the shoe. Yeah. The shoes is big. Big. Shoes are large, big. Large. <laughs> is uh, um, the, the gift <laughs> for the uncle <laughs> for the United States. I know. <laughs> it happened to me. My mother sent me a, a pair of Adidas when I was big, 12. Big, big, uh, gift. <laughs> And I, they didn't fit me. They didn't fit me. The shoes didn't fit me. But I still wore them, you know. I still wore the, the shoes for one week. And, of course, um, I got swollen. Or I got a blister. I got blisters on my on my toes. You remember blisters? What is the meaning of blister? Yes, ampolla. That's right. Okay. I got blisters on my toes. Blister, uh, yeah, the medicine. Yeah, when you, you use shoes of your size. Okay, I hope you were able to read the excerpt that was very useful, actually. And that's basically today's class, you know, dangerous situations when buying online. Um, hidden charges when online shopping. Okay, this happened to me recently. I bought a computer like three months ago um, on Facebook. And there's one thing that you have to be careful with on Marketplace. In Mexico, they're doing something. They have a law. They're, they created a law where if you post a, a product on Marketplace and it says $1 or free, you have to respect the price. So if you're the seller and you, you're selling it for $1, okay, somebody can contact you and say, hey, just $1? Okay, I'll buy it for you. I'll buy it from you, okay? And if you lie to that person and you say, yeah, it's a dollar, let's meet at Metro Centro, okay? And now in Metro Centro, you go like, oh no, you know what, it's $10, I'm sorry, you're missing the zero. And you can call the DPC, la DPC, what will be the DPC here in El Salvador. And they go with you, they force that person to sell to you the product for $1. Have you seen in the marketplace how everything says free, right? Man, I hate that. One more thing I hate is that they just post one picture. You go like, okay. And no description. Don't you hate that? Okay. So hidden prices. Um, so continuing, I got, I got the, lab, the, the, the PC. I bought the PC. And I remember I paid like 365 yeah, $365 I paid with a credit card. When they brought the computer, when they bought, yeah, they brought the computer to, to my house. I checked the computer and it was hit. There, there was a, a little scratch, you know, on the side and it was missing something. Oh, the installation was bad, you know, of Windows. And I noticed, oh, it didn't have HDMI. I mean, a PC without HDMI nowadays, right? So I contacted the vendor and he was like, okay, yeah, but the, the picture, you know, that I placed there is not, uh, it's just as a reference, you know, this is what we have and I don't know. And I was like, oh my God, right? And then we are going to charge you $8 for the delivery too. I was like, no, you know what? I don't like this. Give me my money back. And guess what happens? If you pay with a credit card and you ask for a refund, do you know? No. Well, for smaller companies or entrepreneurs, I don't know why, but what they did is they gave me back $350. The thing is that they took $15 off my purchase because the bank charges them supposedly the bank charges them fifteen dollars uh, for a transaction fee when they get paid with a credit card it's like 10 percent i think or something like that so the thing is that i ended up 
paying that money um, and I got a difference as a refund and they took the computer away. Man, it is what it is, right? I will never buy from them again. Has that ever happened to you? No? Okay, everybody's falling asleep. What do we do? Class is over. We need help. We need help. Yeah, we need help. We need Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. About what? We need help uh, with the platform because <laughs> we can't put the right answer. Right answers on the platform, really? Yeah, Which exercise? It, the problem is with the with the answer that we have to fill because I don't know. It's we missed a, a period. I don't know, but but it's always mark uh, wrong. I don't. Know. Let me check. What's the number again? I'm sorry. Okay, what exercise number are we talking about, Blanca? 214. 214. Yeah. The first one, it's right for me. But the second one, third one, and third. <laughs> a report filled by a financial institution to signal that someone may have stolen your identity. A report filled by... No, no. Oh, oh fill, in, fill in the blanks. To... Oh, okay, fill, fill in the blanks. So the first one, he works in a bank, she said. He works in a bank. Okay, the, the, the right answer is she said he worked in a bank. And mm -hmm. we have to put a period. But the second one, it may... It, for me, it's wrong. She said we weren't, we went out last night and I put a period that put me that it's wrong. We went out last night, she told me. She told me they went out last night. Yeah. She told me they went out last night. I put it like that and it marks me wrong. And that's because they placed a comma instead of a period on the answer. Without that. So you could say, she told me that they went out last night, period. Or you can say, she told me they went out last night, comma. Sorry, guys. There's a comma instead of a period. There are many ways you can say that, but that will be the basic ones. She told me that they went out last night, period. Or she told me they went out last night, comma. Sorry. Is that the only one? I ha I have it with the period and it marks me wrong. Yeah, you have a, you need a comma at the end. Anyway, so she told me that they went out last night. Period. Mm -hmm. period. Right, did it like that already and marks me wrong. Hmm, that's odd. I'll send it to you. Okay, I'm doing the attendance. I just send you the answer, copied and paste. I have to stay with. Uh, one of you tonight, Freddy's for 10 minutes. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at eight and I will correct that on the platform and check others. Uh, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto, Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present, good night. Good night. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present, good night. Good night, Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present, good night. Good night, Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present, good night, teacher. Good night, Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher, good night. Good night, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night, Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chavez. Present. 
Good night, teacher. Good night. Freddy's Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. And good night. Good night. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Stefania Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. Have a great night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Ulisso Mañorellana. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Good night, teacher. Thank Good you. night. Take care. Take care, teacher. Okay, let's see. Sorry, man. Give me just a minute. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's just the two of us now. Yeah. Have you ever been to the States? Where? Have you ever been to the States? United States? Yeah. Yeah. How long ago? Like around, let's see, I came back in 2008. How long were you there for? Eight years. Eight years, yeah. I can tell by your accent, you know. It's really good. Thanks. Okay, so that's basically one of the questions. You know, it's the first time you're with me for 10 minutes. So I typically start this small session asking what has been your experience with English? You know, where have you learned it and how do you feel with it? And number two, what else do you do other than being in the class? What other things are you doing to improve your English? Actually, I learned it in the US. I studied over there actually eight years. You were so, eight? Or eight no, years ago, you mean? Eight years. No, I studied, I studied at the US eight years. Mm -hmm. So actually I went over there when I was 11. So I studied from sixth grade to 11th grade. 11th grade, really? Yeah. 11th grade is like the last, right? No. Of high 12. school? 12th. Oh, the last 12th. Yeah. You, did, didn't, you didn't finish? No. So actually, oh. I, yeah. And you came here to finish high school? Actually, I tried to finish. I, I I tried to finish high school, but they didn't accept the, all the paperwork that I brought from over there. I don't know why. What really? So they, say, they say if I wanted to start again at school, I had to start from sixth grade. So what? That disappointed me a lot. Man, that sucks. Really, what ignorant people? Really, really. You you should have continued. You know striving for it so you were like hold on uh 19 19 years old when you came here trying yeah. to do that wow yeah. and now i'm 32 so i think it's not worth it starting from sixth grade actually not from sixth grade but there there is an exam an evaluation that the ministry of education is doing ministry of education they do um some sort of uh nivelation you know uh test and in the state, it's amazing. It's the first time I hear that someone comes from the state and they don't accept the, the documentation, studies yeah. documentation. You should go to, to the Ministry of Education so they can tell you what's going on. Because at least if I graduated here, I don't know, from high school, let's say, and I go to the States, there is a test called CASAS, the CASAS test. And they, they do an evaluation on you. If let's say I'm 30 years old and I just finished high school here in El Salvador and I want to work there in the States, they I perform that test 
and it tells them, you know, psychologically what grade I'm good for and what I can do, you know, what I'm, what I'm, what I was meant for, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same here in El Salvador. I think you should go. I, I mean, it's actually, I kind of tried taking that test because I don't know, I don't know that much about history about in Salvador or so. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of questions about history or I remember that much about algebra. It has been a lot, a long time already, so. Algebra? Yeah. I, we never use algebra. I mean, <laughs> that's why I never started math. I hate math. But yeah. So what's your plan? I mean, what, what are you up to? What are you planning to do with English? Or For a better job. I'm try, actually, I wanted to finish to advance if I'm not able to finish it. Hmm. Uh, for I could get a better job. But now I see all the consultants are asking for high school, so. Mm, not necessarily, uh, but um, where are you working right now or what do you do? Right now I work at, uh, let's say it's a private water supplies, kind of like ANDA, but it's private. Mm. So I, I'm the plumber right now, so. You know about plumbing? Yeah. That's what you used to do there or there? No, actually I learned there here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know something that I admire a lot? I, I do plumbery too. I do many things at, at home, you know, electricist. I, I don't know. I'm an electrician. I'm a plumber. I can do everything. <laughs> I'm even a carpenter. And now I'm, a, uh, I'm repairing my car, you know, have basically a show. Now. Yeah, I'm a mechanic now. I mean, I, but that's the way it is. But something that I admire from many people in the States is that they just jump into things, you know, but they have the tools. Yeah. I mean, man, having the tool is, is something else. Not doing things in, in the Salvadorian way, you know. <laughs> you have experienced that for sure. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> okay. Has anybody referred you for, you know, to work in a whole center? Yeah, actually, they referred me to, um, it was Transatel, but I don't know if it's still names like that, or they changed them, or, or went to bankrupt, I don't know. Mm. It was over there in Santa Elena, close to the, to the Embajada Americana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what happened? You didn't make it? Uh, actually, I passed all the English tests. The only test I didn't pass because I didn't know that much about using computers. Really? Okay. Yeah. How are you down with computers? Texting? Actually, uh, I know okay. so so like maybe using Word, um, like finding things on online. But actually, I they wanted me to use more like the special keys. Uh, shortcuts. Yeah, the shortcuts. So mm -hmm. that's why it messed me up a lot. So. There's a test online. It's called typing test. And you do it in 60 seconds. There's a one minute test. And this is what they use in culture. Still, they do this test. It's good, actually. Um, can so you, you send can, it? Yeah, I did. You can practice. You can practice your texting, your typing, I'm sorry. And um, that's something they do. I mean, I don't think you will have a problem with English at all. The company I work for, um, they're hiring from home, you know, on site. It's a call center and the job is very easy. But in terms of, uh, well, you have to understand or make sense to how transactions work on debit card, credit card. I mean, if you have ever managed a debit card or credit card, you, you will do it. We'll understand how it works. Okay. That's very simple. Text me if you want. I can. We could give it a try. You know, who knows? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be good. I mean, opportunities are there. You know, always available. It's just how many. Um, I mean, what? How willing are you to work? That's all. That's all. And if they say, if they see willingness in you, I mean. They will do everything to help you. That's the way they are. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're very good actually. And it's a nice job. I mean, I they pay like 750 a month. 750, and there's a bonus, of course, as well, like for $75 a month. But try it. That's my advice. You know, you do have the good level, a decent level of English. It's just that That's part that computer. I right now. Hmm? That's more than what I get for a month. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, working from home, they give you the computer, you know. So that's good. They give you a computer? They give you the computer. If you all you do is put the internet. And in some cases, you know, even if they don't if you don't have internet of 10 megabytes at least, they they pay you the internet. They send Tigo or Claro, you know, to right do the I have connection. 20, megabytes. 20? Yeah. That's good. That's enough. Okay, text me. We'll talk about it, okay? Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. All right, thank you. Good night. Good night.